Welcome to the Cisco CCNA in 60 Days program. My name is Paul Browning. And this is day one, first of 60 days of study. If you're taking the two exam routes for the CCNA, then you'll do it in two 30 day stages. And obviously if you're taking it in the uh, just the one exam, the accelerated exam, CCNAX, then you'll do the full 60 days and take the exam on the last day. So today's tasks. Obviously you'll need a quality study guide to study from, so whichever, uh, whichever study guide you're using, just please uh, study the following parts of it. The first thing is, because it's the first day, we're, we're doing a lot of basic stuff. Now the CCNA is not really an exam for beginners, so Cisco and I will presume that you've got a Network Plus, a CompTIA Network Plus level of knowledge. So either you've passed the exam or you've read and understood a couple of CompTIA Network Plus manuals. And they explain basically how the guts of networking work, um, IP addressing, TCP IP, stuff like that. Although Cisco do refer to it in the CCNA exam and in some of their books, there really now is just far too much content in the exam to cover a lot of the basic network fundamentals. So today, learn the OSI and TCP models. The OSI model in your book you'll see is a seven layer model. The TCP model can cause a little bit of confusion because depending on which book you read, you'll see it as a five or a four layer model. I know for a fact Cisco in the past have referred to it as a four layer model. However, in the new version of the exam, they're changing it now and referring to it as a five layer model. So make sure you do study that in your book. And again, I'm relying on you to go into your book and um, just study the relevant parts for these points that I'm raising here. You basically need to know for the OSI and the TCP, which layer does what, which protocol sits where, and what is the function of each layer, because you will definitely be asked questions and you could be asked troubleshooting questions as to which layer do you think this problem is occurring, or you may be asked about compression, decryption, encryption, and that sort of thing. Learn the common types of networking cables, so Ethernet, Ethernet standards, what cable is used for what, so crossover cables, straight cables, console cables, that sort of thing, you need to understand that. The other thing is, this is just a general overview, but understand what TCP IP is, the common protocols that are encompassed within TCP IP, uh, UDP, you need to understand what the difference is between TCP and UDP, and also how TCP sets up a connection. Also, today, uh, get some hands-on experience, especially if, if you're a beginner. Connect up to a router with a console cable, type in some commands. Hopefully your study guide will have some basic commands and a basic lab for you to follow along, just to get some confidence configuring the Cisco iOS. This is actually an extract from my 60 days to CCNA study guide, and I just wanted you to see the methodical way to plan and prepare your study. So everything you're studying should really in some way be mapping to the ICND1, ICND2, and um, the CCNA syllabus. If you go to cisco.com forward slash go forward slash CCNA, you should be able to find the latest version of the syllabus. And bear in mind, Cisco do reserve the right to add and remove and change things as and when they, uh, as and when they see fit. Also, please use uh, the free resource uh, in60days.com. All these videos are hosted on there and a few downloadable things. If you've actually bought the 60 Days book, there's also um, a lot of extra lab videos, exams and stuff. So obviously it's not obligatory. I just want to point out that all these videos are hosted for free. The 60 Days study plan on in60days.com. Okay, I just wanted to give you an outline of the kind of things you want to be studying today. This is a Word version of my 60 day guide. So just find the relevant chapter in whichever book you're studying. But look at network devices, and again, it's a high level overview, what they look like, what a switch looks like, the ports on a switch, the management ports and the ports for connecting, common network diagrams and what uh, the devices actually look like in a network diagram. 
topologies for networks is something you need to understand and again this is covered in a lot of detail in the network plus syllabus how TCP sets up a session with another device on the network I've got the TCP uh, model here the four or five layer description just so you know both common ports used within TCP and UDP and again this isn't just I don't expect you to be able to read all this I'm going too quickly but I just wanted to show you the kind of stuff you want to be learning how art works again this is part of the TCP suite of protocols then we go into cables looking at Ethernet cables and common speeds and standards duplex is something you'll need to understand for the CCNA crossover cables uh, using console cables to connect to routers common WAN cables this is a DB60 serial cable you'll see used on a lot of Cisco networks and you probably use on your home network and then moving along just logging into a router for the first time the different type of commands you will see when you log in and in different modes you'll be in for configuring emergency disaster recovery VLANs routing and that sort of thing common types of interface and then um, just setting how to set an IP address and then finally um, whatever book you're using just make sure you've got some review questions so the knowledge is sunk in and then um, a hands-on lab so you can just practice for the first time logging into a router and just testing what the different modes are so i hope that's been a help and i'll see you on day two